and welcome to a 10 minute break with ETA and ST Microelectronics. During this 10 minute session, we will be talking about real time data processing and data management on the edge with the founder of ETA, Sasan Montessori, and Luik Chassad of ST Microelectronics. My name is Andrew Music and a software engineer at ETA, but let's jump to the first question. Starting with Week, what do you consider an edge device? And what important values does ST Microelectronics bring to the edge? So the, the STM32 is one of the most popular family of 32-bit general purpose microcontrollers with ARM Cortex-M core. It is now complemented by microprocessors with the STM32 MP1 series with Cortex-A. STM32 can be used in all applications that need power efficiency, but that cannot compromise performance wireless connectivity, end-to-end -end security, or AI at the edge are one of the key growth drivers for our microcontrollers. So talking about IoT, STM32 perfectly matches the need for so-called constraints devices or end nodes with sensors and actuators. STM32 users need to protect their assets, such as their data, their IPs, so they might need to implement a reliable and secure connectivity solution, including device update capability. To answer this, ST has introduced a security framework, which is called STM32 Trust, with 12 security functions that mitigate new vulnerabilities or threats in embedded system based on STM32 devices. Wow, okay, awesome, great. And so Sasan, what benefits does ETIA bring to the edge devices offered by ST Microelectronics? Um, ETIA DB is designed and architected for device uh, manufacturers building uh, embedded systems with uh, microcontrollers uh, such as STM32 that need to sense, uh, collect, and protect data. Uh, data for these uh, embedded systems typically originate from sensors uh, where massive amount of data is produced and the uh, raw data analysis is required to understand the real-time state of the system. Um, ETRDB software empowers applications developed for STM32 devices to monitor uh, collect, organize, and reliably store substantial amount of real-time data. Uh, it is a database that is silently embeds inside STM32 devices and empowers the application to make sense of real-time fresh data. The time that is coming in right now. Right now, you want to get the state of the data, and also you want to be able to go and see what was happening with the trend of the historical data. And that's what ETR brings to STM32 devices. Interesting. But uh, the week, I noticed you have 18 different categories of STM32 devices. So how does a customer know which device works best with their application? Yeah, indeed. So the STM32 family of microcontrollers and microprocessors offers many devices that address a wide range of applications requiring uh, high performance, real-time capabilities, digital signal processing, low power operation and connectivity. So the STM32 family uh, are organized in four uh, subfamilies, let's say. So the high performance, the mainstream, the ultra low power and the wireless. More details and documentation in each families and product series can be found on ST.com. To help you make your you'll find the right MCU for your design, you can use the STM32 Finder application on your laptop or your mobile phone. The parametric search allows you to filter and navigate the portfolio, select your needs in terms of performance, memory size, peripherals, and so on. Your search results will be in keeping with the settings you selected and include the pricing of the devices. Awesome. Okay. So, Sasan, what kind of memory characteristics does ETA DB incur on the STM32 platform? Uh, when developers uh, select the ETA database and uh, STM32 
uh, they have access to data base, uh, real time operating systems, uh, compilers, and IDEs available so they can benefit uh, from a tested uh, development platform and focus on building their own application. Uh, with regards to the database, uh, there are uh, important data management criteria such as available ROM and RAM for uh, running the database on the device. And uh, they typically need about uh, 150 kilobyte of ROM program flash and about uh, 50 kilobyte RAM. So it's 150K ROM and 50K RAM. Uh, and depending on the workload, they can store the hundreds of sensors data over high rate. And uh, typically the applications that are built with ETIDB can read the data with a very low latency and uh, high throughput for exporting a large volume of timestamp data. Awesome, great. And Loic, what kind of development software is available for the STM32 customers? So STM32 comes with a comprehensive set of tools and software from ST. STM32 Cube is a combination of software tools and embedded software libraries. So software tools address each step of a complete project development cycle selection, configuration, development, programming, and monitoring. Software bricks enable advanced functionalities in STM32 devices and cover also external components or additional middleware thanks to STM32 Cube expansion. You can get all this software free of charge from st.com. They are also available on ST Microelectronics GitHub with the possibility for users to get software components and updates, follow issues, submit problems, propose alternate solutions, new features, and get faster updates. Many affordable hardware boards are available to enable fast evaluation and prototyping with STM32 or experiment all these softwares. The STM32 Nucleo development boards and discovery kits for flexible prototyping are available online on st.com. Uh, many partners companies are also contributing to the STM32 ecosystem, bringing their own specific know-how or added value. ITTIA is one of them providing a unique database solution to process and manage data on the edge. Awesome. Great. That's great to hear. And Sasan, does ETS support the development environment offered by ST Microelectronics? And how may customers obtain a license for ETA DB on STM32 supported platform? Um, ETA DB uh, supports a variety of development environment for STM32 devices, including the Cube IDE, uh, Free RTOS, uh, Azure Threadex, as well as other custom platforms. And there are occasions that manufacturers want to use their own uh, operating system or their own um, development components, and they uh, contact ETIA to work and support them to offer the right data management or database for their custom STM32 application. And uh, so we work with them and uh, we offer the requirements that they have. And in general, uh, ETIA DB is compatible with uh, uh, GNU tool chains, uh, IAR compilers, and various file systems available for uh, STM32, uh, um, as well as we offer developers to write data into raw storage media. Uh, we provide C and C++ API to minimize the overhead. And with regards to re obtaining the license, uh, they can just simply visit www.ittia.com and uh, go to the evaluation page, include the information, and uh, we will uh, get back to them and provide them with the required license so they can start. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds simple enough. Um, the week, which markets are targeted by the STM32 family? Uh, many of them. We, we are currently shipping 1.5 billion devices per year with a total of more than 8 billion now. 
All these STM32 are going in various applications such as appliance, smart home, wellness, fitness, personal healthcare, industrial, power tools, smart metering, factory automation, and many others. So I would say STM32 is not qualified for automotive application, but it can really address all kind of industrial or cons consumer markets. Wow, okay, that sounds pretty ubiquitous. Uh, last question, Sasan. What kind of advantages does ETA DB offer for the markets targeted by ST Microelectronics? Uh, with uh, IoT and the uh, new era of uh, modern automation, uh, manufacturer of uh, embedded systems are uh, experiencing new architectural decision for building um, applications uh, to really understand and make sense of um, raw real-time data. And uh, remote sensing is a common example. And uh, these are devices or many devices that are connected to sensors and uh, must remotely sense the environment and report events uh, real time and uh, these uh, events include abnormal uh, situations so device can uh, notify or act uh, for such a system data uh, needs to be analyzed needs to be filtered and needs to be managed so we have designed and architected etidb for such an embedded systems like uh, IT, like uh, STM32 relating to a variety of markets, including transportation, uh, healthcare, robotic, uh, uh, industrial automation, and um, other IoT related markets. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody. I think we can see the value that ATFDB brings to ST Microelectronics supported platforms. But if you'd like to learn more info, please visit us at www.ittia.com and you can request a session with one of our experts. Thank you very much, everybody.